Elon Musk is on a mission to clamp down on OpenAI as he believes that the company is the real-life Skynet and is currently on the path to unleash some Terminators into the world if they are not stopped soon. What you may know is that Elon Musk co-founded OpenAI along with Sam Altman and Greg Brockman in 2015. But what you may not know is that Musk left the company in 2018 after an unsuccessful bid to pair the company with Tesla and become its CEO. While it seems like he has since moved on and even founded his own AI company, XAI, in 2020, Musk is now returning to challenge OpenAI with a lawsuit filed in San Francisco. Musk claims that Altman and other executives at OpenAI are breaching the founding agreement of the company, which stipulated that OpenAI would remain a nonprofit organization dedicated to benefiting humanity. Musk alleges that Altman and Brockman are turning the company into a for profit business straying from its original mission. This isn't just any lawsuit, it marks a historic clash between one of the the biggest names in artificial intelligence and the world's richest man. But one big question on the minds of many people is why Elon Musk is fighting a company he co-founded. Is it a genuine concern for the company's direction? Or is it all a big show to bring the company down now that he is no longer a part of it? Musk's lawsuit against OpenAI claims that the company has breached its fiduciary duties. He alleges that Altman and other directors have allowed the use of OpenAI's assets and funds to pursue private, for-profit research, which contradicts the company's founding principles. Elon Musk argues that while OpenAI describes itself as a nonprofit with a goal to advance digital intelligence, Intelligence in the way that is most likely to benefit humanity as a whole, its operation of an artificial intelligence system, which is the GPT-4, behind a paywall, plans to license future AI technology to Microsoft. The provision of a board observer seat to Microsoft betrays this nonprofit mission and contradicts this mission. While the claim sounds reasonable and may or may not be right, one thing is clear. Elon Musk is not the right person to have brought it forward and we will see why this is the case. But first, let's look at the nonprofit legal structure of OpenAI and whether Elon's claims hold any water. Nonprofit companies like OpenAI usually have a corporate legal structure that needs to be clarified. Unlike in the case of unhappy shareholders suing their company, displeased donors or supporters cannot sue to challenge the actions of a nonprofit organization. Elon Musk cannot just sue OpenAI for not adhering to its fiduciary duties. Duties. Standing to challenge nonprofit fiduciaries' compliance with their duties is typically limited only to fellow fiduciaries and the state attorney general. Elon Musk is neither. He is, of course, a large donor. However, once gifts have been made, donated assets are no longer donors' property, and they lose the authority to sue to protect them. Now let's go on to see what Elon Musk is asking for. Musk's lawsuit seeks a judicial determination that GPT-4 constitutes artificial general intelligence and is thereby outside the scope of OpenAI's license to Microsoft. Citing a paper authored by Microsoft researchers who claim the tool is an early yet still incomplete version of an AGI system. It also seeks a court order prohibiting OpenAI from using its assets for the financial benefit of Microsoft or itself and a separate court order compelling OpenAI to release its technology to the public. Musk's lawsuit separately argues that he was the driving force behind the establishment of OpenAI in 2015 as a nonprofit research body dedicated to building AGI for the benefit of humanity. He and Altman were concerned that Google, the leading AI lab at the time, was not prioritizing the safety of the technology. Musk donated $44 million, the majority of the cash required to get OpenAI off the ground, according to the lawsuit, and helped the nonprofit recruit leading AI researchers. Elon Musk also cited the event that happened last year, wanting to know more about the incident at OpenAI where co-founders founder Ilya Suskever, along with other board members, fired Sam Altman in November. He shared a concern that the OpenAI board may have discovered some dangerous direction Sam Altman was steering the company towards, and this is part of what his legal team would be investigating as part of the lawsuit. In a more dramatic tone, Elon Musk added to the file, Imagine donating to a nonprofit whose asserted mission is to protect the Amazon rainforest. 
But then the nonprofit creates a for profit Amazonian logging company that uses the fruits of the donations to clear the rainforest, the lawsuit says. That is the story of OpenAI. But OpenAI was not going to remain silent either. OpenAI responded against Musk's suit in a lengthy blog post on its website, accusing Musk of professional jealousy. We're sad that it's come to this with someone whom we've deeply admired, someone who inspired us to aim higher, then told us we would fail, started a competitor, and then sued us when we started making meaningful progress toward OpenAI's mission without him, the post states. In the blog post, OpenAI suggested that Musk is jealous of not being involved with the company as it has become a leader in the AI arms race. But it seems that OpenAI didn't just want to stop at just a rebuttal. They decided to add some evidence of Musk's hypocrisy for the general public to see. They included emails Musk had sent to other OpenAI co-founders, including one from 2018 in which Musk suggested that OpenAI should sell itself to Tesla to remain competitive. This was seen as a move to become the CEO of both companies, but OpenAI executives refused, leading to Musk's departure from OpenAI later that year. The blog post also revealed that Musk had once suggested making the company for profit. OpenAI writes in its filing, were this case to proceed to discovery, the evidence would show that Musk supported a for-profit structure for OpenAI to be controlled by Musk himself and drop the project when his wishes were not followed. Seeing the remarkable technological advances OpenAI has achieved, Musk now wants that success for himself. Could this be hypocrisy? Or is Elon Musk genuinely concerned about the direction OpenAI is heading? According to Musk... The fate of humanity may depend on the resolution of his lawsuit filed earlier in March against Sam Altman and OpenAI. Musk claims the lawsuit is designed to ensure that artificial intelligence benefits humanity rather than becoming super intelligent, surpassing human intelligence, and threatening humanity. But it seems like it's not only Elon Musk who's concerned about the technological advancement of OpenAI and what this could mean for humans. Silicon Valley insiders believe that generative AI, the technology behind ChatGPT, is a once-in-a-generation breakthrough that could transform the tech industry as profoundly as web browsers did over 30 years ago. However, while this potential is undeniable, there are also concerns about the extent to which this technology can be used and its potential impact on the entire fabric of human interaction as we know it today. The courts of California must decide what OpenAI must do after straying from its original mission, said Gary Marcus, an AI entrepreneur and an emeritus professor of psychology and neural science at New York University. The court of public opinion must decide what it thinks of Musk, who has a fair point about OpenAI but has his own commercial AI interests and choices. Legal experts have cast doubt on Musk's suit against OpenAI, stating that he may not have legal standing to sue the company for changing its values. Claims that OpenAI violated its fiduciary obligations would also potentially require the suit to be handled in Delaware, where the company is incorporated, rather than California, where the suit was filed. Additionally, it is unclear whether there is any concrete founding contract at all. The suit does not mention a binding document with formal agreements and signatures of the company's founders. Instead, the complaint details a loose series of discussions, emails, and documents, essentially handshake agreements, that may not hold up to legal scrutiny.